Hi, this is Dr. Christopher Maloney talking about cancer. Talking about cancer is, uh, we don't talk about cancer anymore. We talk about different kinds of cancer. We talk about breast cancer. We talk about, you know, we talk about all these different little pieces of cancer. And we don't talk about cancer as a whole because we have specialists who don't specialize in cancer as a whole. They specialize in this kind of cancer, and then they specialize in treating this kind of cancer in this way. So they're surgically treating ovarian cancer, or they're radio, you know, they use radiotherapy to treat thyroid cancer, or they, you know, so we have subspecialists within, you know, specialists within specialists to treat cancer. So when you try to say, I treat cancer, what you're saying is, what? They don't, they're like, what does that mean? Do you treat this kind of cancer? Or this kind of cancer? Or this one? I'm like, Back off a second, guys. Before you had all your subspecialties, which you all need to do because it takes an entire degree to get, you know, the right level of radi radiation in someone's throat without killing them or giving them a secondary cancer. That's your job. But for anybody like myself who's sitting back and saying, how do you treat this? How do you support the body during these procedures? It's not that specialized a job. The body doesn't go away when you have a cancer. The body's actually already hurting. And most of the stuff you're giving it, a surgical intervention, radiation, or poison, basically, chemotherapy, you are basically experiencing, you know, what would be, in other, another model, would be uh, a car accident, uh, a nuclear explosion reaction exp exposure, or being food poisoned, or taking into a poisonous substance. So when you think about that for a moment, you go, wait a second, the body needs a lot of support at that point. And for the most part, the guys who are doing the subspecialty specialty are not giving you the generalized support for this. They're not saying, are you getting eight hours of sleep? Are you eating the foods that you need to eat to help support your system? Are you doing the, the, you know, the supplements that you need to add into your body to just kind of offset the fact that we're dumping poison in every day? And you want to also avoid things that are going to uh, compete, you know, compete with the poison we're putting in and or you want to do things that would actually support the effectiveness of that, that, that intervention. So, and are you, you know, taking stuff that would help you repair from a surgery? What, all of these things are not specific to the cancer. They are things that you can do to support the body. Generally, there's the same things that you would do if the person had been poisoned, if the person had been exposed to radiation, or the person just had experienced surgery. And those are things that I can reasonably do and help somebody support them. It's not specific to a cancer.